The White Tower, one of the most iconic monuments of Greece, has been not only the jewel of the northern city of Thessaloniki, but also the most common point of reference for its residents. Thessaloniki is an amalgamation of the Byzantine and modern era, and the White Tower has been a witness to every historical change that the city went through in such a way that it is impossible to understand the history of the city without studying the history of the tower, and vice versa. From an architectural point of view, the White Tower is a cylindrical structure with a height of 33.9 meters, a perimeter of 70 meters, and a diameter of 22.7 meters. It consists of six floors, connected by an internal staircase which spirals in contact with the external wall. Thus, on each floor there is a central secular hall with a diameter of 8.5 meters, with which smaller quadrilateral rooms communicate. The White Tower was most likely built in the 15th century, after the occupation of Thessaloniki by the Ottomans in 1430, and its strategic location at the edge of the Gulf of Thermaikos protected the city from any threat that would come from the sea. The Ottomans made additions and modifications to the city walls. A series of fortification projects led to the creation of new fortresses in Thessaloniki, and during this process the White Tower was also constructed alongside the Tapirio and Trigoneo Tower. The White Tower was connected to Thessaloniki's defensive walls, most of which were unfortunately destroyed in 1866. In its place there was an older tower of the Byzantine fortification, at the point where the eastern wall met the sea wall. Through the years the tower is referred to by various names. At the beginning it was called Tower of the Lion, as Turkish inscriptions of 1535 mention. From the 17th century onwards it was unofficially called Fortress of Calamaria and Tower of the Janissaries. Until 1826, it served as a fortress and as a prison. In the 19th century, when it became a prison and a place of execution for convicts, its most prominent name was Tower of Blood, Canlicule. Many historians have called the tower the Bastille of Thessaloniki, where the death row inmates were slaughtered on its balcony, with their blood dripping down its walls, staining them, while a cannon shot from the west side of the city would announce the execution. More specifically, the name Tower of Blood originated when Thessaloniki was an important centre of the Ottoman Empire, with almost 6,000 Janissaries. On June 16, 1826, during the auspicious incident, Mahmoud II ordered their extermination, and with Thessaloniki as the centre of this operation, their extermination expanded throughout the Ottoman Empire. About 3,000 survived and were captured after battles with the Ottoman army, were taken to the tower where they were executed in mass. It was then, after the dissolution of the Janissaries, that the tower acquired the name Canlicule, the Tower of Blood. Its official name as the Tower of the Lion and the unofficial one as Canlicule coexisted until 1891. In 1883, a period of many reforms for the Ottoman Empire, after the constant pressure of European countries, by order of Sultan Abdulhamid II, the Tower of Blood was whitewashed and given the name Lefkos, Beyaz Kule. A tower with the word blood in its name would not be suitable for the new facade that the caliphate was trying to sustain. It got its current name when a Jewish prisoner, Nathan Gedili, convicted of a love crime, whitewashed it in exchange for his freedom. Since then, the tower has been called white. Over time, it became the symbol of the Saloniki, as it remained standing alone in the port of the city since 1911, after the demolition of the sea and eastern walls and its enclosure. After the liberation of the city from the Ottomans in 1912 and its incorporation into the Greek state, the tower has been used in many ways. During the First World War, the White Tower served as a center of communications for the Allies, as well as a safe place for the storage of antiquities and other priceless artifacts. It then housed the headquarters for Thessaloniki's air defense until 1983, when it became property of the state and passed into the Ministry of Culture. Currently, the monument has become a museum, and alongside the exhibition space, visitors can enjoy the breathtaking views of the entire city from its rooftop.